The first siege of Babylon was a successful siege of one of its citadels, loyal to Antigonus, by forces under Seleucus in 311 BC. Chapter 1 Context After the partition of Babylon, Seleucus was appointed as the satrap of Babylon until he was forced to leave, fearing Antigonus' increasing power in 315 BC and took refuge at Ptolemy's court, where he remained until he and Ptolemy defeated Antigonus's son Demetrius at Gaza in 312 BC, after which Ptolemy delivered to him 200 cavalry and 800 foot soldiers, and began his advance towards his old satrapy of Babylon. Chapter 2 Campaign Seleucus now marched towards Haran where he found around 1,000 veteran troops, who joined him, then he proceeded towards Babylon, which he reached in May, the people welcomed him, as he was well remembered by them, but a small force loyal to Antigonus entrenched themselves in the citadel of the palace. Chapter 3 The Siege Seleucus decided to lay siege on the citadel, but eager to avoid casualties, he decided to cut the water supply to the city and began to build a dam on the river Euphrates, which passed between the citadel walls, until it created an artificial lake on the hill, but as the citadel continued to resist his attempts, he ordered the dam to be suddenly broken and in the ensuing downstream flood the walls of the citadel were destroyed and the garrison surrendered after token resistance. Chapter 4 Aftermath Seleucus became ruler of Babylon again, however, Antigonus had enough power to recapture the city at any moment, and one of his generals, Nicanor was already on the way, this episode marks the start of the Babylonian War. Chapter 5 Sources https colon slash slash www.livius.org slash sources slash content slash Diodorus slash the beginning of the Babylonian War slash Chronicle of the Diadochi, Rev. 47. https colon slash slash www.livius.org slash sources slash content slash Mesopotamian chronicles content slash bchb3 diadochi chronicles slash Diodorus Siculus, World History, 19.90-93